guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Mostly Sci-Fi. I'm Mostly Sci-Fi, and today we're going to be talking, doing a little bit of science fiction here, where we have autonomous vehicles that can go at these, that can drive itself, a car that will drive itself. So uh, I'm going to drive basically to work, and then, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so here we go. I'm getting ready to do it. So as you see, you know, you always gotta have your hands somewhere because this is um, FSD, full self-driving, 13, I think it's 12.3.3.3 or something like that. So, Basically, it this is the supervised version. It's out of beta version. So I almost kind of completely trust it, basically. Almost. But you always have to, like, have your hands somewhere. Because if you don't have your hands somewhere in the vicinity and it disables five times, Tesla will take it away from you. Okay, and then you won't have uh, full self-driving. Okay, so... I, myself, I don't like going on highways, so we're going to see what's going to happen, because I don't like going on the highway. I'm definitely terrified of highways, and this is North Carolina. The drivers are insane, like we're in uh, uh, Charlotte, so the drivers are just basically psychopathic, <laughs> but people tell me that it's compared to other states... Uh, North Carolina is not so bad. Okay, so it's basically going to take about, um, I think, 40 minutes to get to work. And so I'm always going to have my hands here just in case I have to, like, disengage or something like that. It will disengage itself if it finds itself is in trouble it will disengage itself and then you have to like take the wheel now the only thing i worry about is you know you're on a highway and it disengages and you're going at like 70 miles an hour but i've seen a lot of videos like over 50 60 videos especially with this one with this version and it hasn't made any mistake it's made like marginal errors that is based basically on opinion rather than kind of fact okay and when i say opinion i mean oh he should have he should have you know turned he turned too close to the curb you know what i mean like this something like this so now look at here you can see this is a very congested road it's hard for me because it's winding and the road is too narrow and people tend to uh change lanes too quickly me I, you have three that you can do. You can do chill, and then there's like regular, and then there's like assertive. I forgot what the regular is called, but it's like chill, in the middle, and assertive. So chill is meaning I'm not going to change lanes. This It won't change lanes often. It will only change lanes when necessary. Uh, assertive is you're being a, like a kind of aggressive driver you know, where you might be late for work or something like that. So, uh, the only part I'm nervous about, we're going to go on the highway for the first time. And I am traumatized by highways because the first time I did take a highway, a car kind of swiped me. Um, and it was her fault. I didn't report it because it didn't really do any damage to, to my car. But it just swiped me, right? And I'm traumatized because you're on a ramp, you got to match their speed. And sometimes if you match their speed, you run out of that lane. You run out of it. And then you just either have to go or you just have to stop and just wait for it's your turn to go. And that's not the safest thing to do, okay? So, you know, drivers are very aggressive here. So they see you coming, they're gonna try to jump ahead of you and then that's trouble. Like I've seen cars that on here, 
where I'm driving the speed limit a little bit over the speed limit and then you'll have a car just kind of cut ahead of me just to, to meet the red light a few feet ahead. It's like you're meeting a red light and then there's traffic cars all up the wazoo. You're not gonna make it. Yeah, see? So you have to keep your hands on uh, this, just like this. Most people I see online, they go like this, but you know, you just hold it like this. You don't wanna hold it too tight because it has to turn and stuff. You have to do all the turns and things like that. So the first time I tried FSD, I was deeply anxious and afraid, especially when it's coming behind cars and they stop, but it stops on time, you know, so I've learned to slowly like just trust it. Some, this is for some people, it's not for men, not for everybody. Like people who are control freaks, when driving, they're just gonna go insane and they're gonna have a heart attack. People who just, you know, you wanna relax and you don't want all this pressure. Feet, turn left to take the Tybola road ramp. Okay, so now it's gonna start going into the highway. Now turn left to take the Tybola road ramp. It's gonna take the highway. I've never gone this way before. Uh, I usually just avoid highways at all costs. But now I bought the Tesla, me and my wife. My wife bought the Tesla so that she can have FSD because we're both definitely afraid of the kind of highway a little bit. You know, uh, it's crazy drivers here. This is an AI. It's, it's supposedly better than humans. So I'm quite excited. So what are we gonna do is we're just gonna go on this highway. So this is I-77. It's the largest highway, I think, in Charlotte. And we're going to see how it goes. <laughs> oh, I'm having a heart attack. And you got the truck there. But just don't panic. Okay, you got to trust the system. Elon would not put this out if it was going to kill all of us. Okay? That's what you got to think. Right? So... He's not gonna put us in danger if he's gonna try to kill us, okay? So when you're going on the highway, when you're feeling nervous, that's what you gotta think. Like, you know how much money they would sue him for? If like even some people got into an accident or whatever? So look straight ahead, Jenny. Here we go, it goes in, good. Look in the mirror, Jenny. Look behind you in the mirror. See where we have with the cars. We're going 52. 55 is max speed, which I didn't know for this is 55. I thought it was like 70. In one mile, take exit 1B on the right towards Interstate 485, James G. Martin Freeway. Okay, so we're going to be going. How do you feel about this, Jenny? You feel safe? Yeah. So, would you, would you rely on me to do the driving on the highway or the FSD? Of course, FSD. <laughs> yeah, of course, FSD. Okay. This is very smooth driving. It's unbelievable. I mean, this is superior tech. I feel like a transformer. You know, I'm in a transformer. Like Bumblebee or something. I think the next Transformers might have a Tesla. <laughs> anyway, it's going at a nice speed. What kind of rabbit a highway? I've, it, and it takes the anxiety away because I'm so anxi anxiety about highways, but. Wow. So we have. Take exit 1B on the right. Okay, we're about to go on the next exit. Holy shit. So we just took that exit. And so we're gonna go on another one. The 485 is only like two lanes, right? Jenny? Uh, three lanes. Keep a right to take Interstate 485 South toward Martin Freeway, Pineville. Okay, 
is a 45, oh, 55. So, Jenny, would you feel safe using this to go to work every day? Yeah. This thing is, is going the speed limit. This is scary because you know you want to use AIs go rogue and just throw you right off the door going bridge or whatever, but it's doing good. I don't have to worry about glare, so look at this, Jenny. Look at me. I don't have to worry about the glare because it's driving itself. Okay? So, you know, when you got to worry about glare and you got a lot of accidents, that's another plus for driving itself. Now, if you want FSD, it's going to cost you uh, either a one time payment of 12000 which I wouldn't recommend. Oh, look at that truck. One time. One time payment of twelve thousand or two hundred dollars a month. Now we're gonna do the two hundred dollars a month because this is it takes a lot of stress off driving. Some people like driving. I don't like driving. Now it's going seventy four. Wow. I don't even feel like it's going seventy four. So this is AI. I have also, you know, um, because AI is a new narrator for, narrative for the next three years, I have invested in a uh, narrative uh, AI cryptocurrency because I think it's going to go really well. Um, one of them is Ocean, Ocean Protocol. I just invested in, I invest, also invested in AGIX. Um, and I might invest in Fetchcoin, but maybe not. And I also invested in another coin, uh, which I forgot the name of it at the moment. I can't look at it because my phone, you know, you can't really use your phone right there while you're doing this. So, but like three of my coins, or four, sorry, four of my coins are in, four of my crypto are in. AI development. So AI is a new development for the next three years. I think it's going to be the new narrative. And I think that these cars in like three or four years, they're going to be basically level five automation, which means that you're going to be able just to chill. It's not going to no longer be supervised. I think by the end of uh, this decade, there won't even be any, um, there won't be any steering wheels. It's just going to do everything for you. I think everything is shifting towards AI. My wife said that in three or four years, like, you said half the jobs? Yeah. yeah. So half the jobs. Maybe more than half. In America will be taken, I don't, I don't think it's going to be that much, but. Suppose you say 25% of the jobs are going to be taken over by AI. Not in America, it's all over the world. All over the world. Half, uh, you oh can my say, God, look at this truck. Yeah, 25% is going to be taken over by AI, right? And, and then you say, well, what are the people that don't have a job going to do that? And that's when you have um, UBI, which is Universal Basic Income where the people will get just enough, they will get enough income to live and have their little other things. But if you want to do something extra, you want to make some extra money, you know, you pick up like a part-time job or something like that, where you can make incentive money, is what I'm saying, so. You should not go to 71. Why? Because the limit is 70. Why, you think it's too fast? No, I mean, they should set a speed limit there. 
should not go over even one. What do you mean? This? Mm. No, you're supposed to go over the speed limit a little. That's how most of them, it's driving like it would think most people drive. So most people go over the speed limit. See, he going 65 because he want to be safe. I put it on chill. So, yeah. So chill is like it's going a little bit under the speed limit, which that's what I want. I don't want it over the speed limit. I don't want it to be aggressive. So we're going to be on Johnson Road. So you think you could do this by yourself like in two weeks? I think so. So I don't have to use it. I can use my Chrysler to get to work and use this. Or you still want to pay because my wife is paying a bunch of money. To get to work, she's paying Uber to get back and forth work when she could just use this. It's 37, but it's 36%. Yeah. yeah, this cost a lot of electricity. The electricity is the only complaint that I have. It's like you gotta recharge the car like every three days. If you're going, because we did standard which is we didn't do long range which I was telling Jenny like you should do long range turn to me you should do long range but she didn't want to do long range you know and I'm like buy the long we should buy the long range one it was only like a couple of thousand more and you get like 120 130 miles more which you then you only have to go like once a week now I got to go every three days so it's it's a pain because the nearest one to me that is a supercharger is like four miles away and it's all the way up top on a garage. Randy, this you know? four miles is nothing. What are you talking about? We got uh, seven mo miles away one in a parking lot. I'm mostly sci-fi. I'm not red. Mostly sci-fi is my name. <laughs> okay, so that's it. And I want to say bye. So this is mostly sci-fi well mostly <laughs> stay sharp